Welcome back to Stacy Lee's Life with Cerebral Palsy. Before I get started, if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for when I upload more videos. And I want to welcome my new subscribers to Stacy Lee's Life with Cerebral Palsy. So I went to my orthopedic doctor today and I got some bad news kind of. Um, as you guys know, I've been having problems with my left knee and I had went to a pain clinic to get a knee injection well that didn't work because I had told my orthopedic doctor I see two different orthopedic doctors but I had told um, my one orthopedic doctor that I did not want any more surgeries at all because I've had 14 surgeries. So he did, bless his heart, he did everything went above and beyond for me to try to make it so I did not have to have surgery. But unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't work that way. So I went back today because the, like I said, the knee injection didn't work. And the first thing he says to me, I see that the knee injection didn't work. So, we're here to talk about the best option for you, which is to get a knee fusion. And I turned my head sideways. And I was like, oh, really? Not another surgery. Guys, I literally, I was almost in tears. Because... I absolutely hate, with a passion, I hate surgeries. It's not the pain that I'm scared of. I just don't like surgeries because I don't like scars. For me personally, I do not like scars. I wish I could just make this all go away. And... get up and walk in cases like this but at the same time I realize that that is not the case so I have to do what I have to do and unfortunately there is possibility 90% chance of that I'm gonna have to have surgery so I had asked him if the surgeon, because he's not going to be the one that does the surgery, it's going to be a different surgeon. Um, I had asked him what the surgery entails. And he literally told me, which made my jaw drop to the ground. He literally told me that they're putting a rod in my knee. Because when he moved my leg back and forth today, up and down, sideways, you know how they do that crazy little thing to to make sure you're not lying to them or however they perceive that. He literally was holding my leg and he goes, Stacy, and he had this weird look on his face. He goes, 
Your knee, your knee is very unstable. And I was like, really, I have to have another rod in my body, another piece of metal in my body, just to hold my knee together. Are you kidding me? Like, and it may sound like I'm complaining, but I'm really not, guys. There are a lot of people out there worse off than I am. There are a lot of people out there that lose their life over cerebral palsy. And thank goodness I am so blessed for that is not the case for me. I look back at all the surgeries that I've had and I am so grateful for everyone that I've had even though I don't want the surgeries I am so grateful for everyone that I've had because It has helped me in some ways. And I think right now I'm just like the reason why I, I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling right now is because I'm in shock. I wasn't expecting this today, but I was expecting it today if it makes any sense. I was hoping he would tell me. I have another option for you. But, no, that wasn't the case. And I'm okay with that. Because I was put on this earth to educate people out there around the world. I'm okay with having to have another surgery. Did I expect it to be this many surgeries? No, guys, reality, I was expecting to, and this is a little naive on my part, I was expecting to go in and have Just one or two surgeries, and I would be good. I wasn't expecting to, throughout my life, to have all these surgeries. But I, I happen to be the chosen one. To, out of my family, to have all these surgeries. I don't know why, but. Unfortunately, God thinks I can handle it. And no, I'm not a real, real religious person. Never have been. But the man upstairs or however you want to say that, whoever's on the other side, whether it's a guardian angel, they think that I can handle it. So, I just happen to be the chosen one out of my family. I know people around the world, millions of people have had more surgeries than I've had. But, what I'm saying is, I just happen to be the chosen one for my family that has this disability that has to go through surgeries all the time. And guys, I'm just hoping that it helps. Because I'm tired of pain. I'm tired of not being able to sleep. Because I'm cranky when I don't sleep. I'm miserable. 
I just hate being tired. I'm an outgoing, loving, caring person. But I just wanted to keep you guys updated. And as soon as I know something new, I will let you guys know. And I hope that each and every one of my videos help you in some way. If you have any questions about this, comment below and let me know. Thank you for watching Stacy Lee's Life with Cerebral Palsy. And stay tuned for the update with my surgeon on April 10th. Thank you for your love and support. See each and every one of you very soon. And I promise I will have more videos for you before April 10th. But I will see each and every one of you very soon.